Hey everyone, in this mini lecture, we're in the area of planar kinetics of a rigid body with a force and acceleration. So in our first example, we'll look at the radius of gyration. So our example is given, the pendulum consists of a slender rod with a mass two kilograms and a circular plate with a mass of four kilograms. So we're told to find the pendulum's radius of gyration about an axis perpendicular to the screen and passing through point O. So in our planning, we're going to follow steps that are similar to finding the moment for a composite area as we've done in a previous course, statics. The, pendulums, the pendulum can be divided into a slender rod and a circular plate and then we'll determine the radius of gyration. Let's go ahead and take a look at our solution. So the center of mass for the rod will be at a point, we'll call it G sub R from point O. So it'll be at this point from point O. Um, the center of mass for the circular plate so the center of mass, but now we're saying for the circular plate is at one meter. It's at one meter, right? One meter, um, and it'll be G sub P, 2.5 meters from point O, 2.5 meters from point O. Okay, so the mass moment of inertia the mass moment of inertia data is usually found within your textbooks some are in uh, appendix or some are usually in the front or back cover of the textbook so using those data and the parallel axis theorem we then can go ahead and calculate the following i sub o is equal to i sub g plus m times d squared and then we have i sub o r is equal to one twelfths two two squared plus two one squared and that gets us crunching the numbers 2.667 kilograms meters squared all right, so we then have I sub O P. So that's one half four zero point five squared plus four times two point five squared. So that leaves us with twenty five point five kilograms meters squared. All right, so then we're going to add the two the two um, mass moment of inertias about point O. So add those two up. We have I sub O equals I sub O R plus I sub O P. Adding those two gets us 28.17 kilograms meters squared. So the total mass M equals six kilograms. Thus the radius of gyration about O is through k is equal to the square root of i sub o over m and that's equal to the square root of 28.17 over 6 equals 2.17 meters our next example deals with rigid body in planar motion the example states given the cart and its load have a total mass of 100 kilograms and center of mass at G. A force P equals 100 newtons is applied to the handle. We neglect the mass of the wheels. So we are asked to find the normal reactions at each of the two wheels at A and B. So in planning, we're just gonna follow the procedure that we've been um, looking at for analysis. So we're gonna look at the cart and it's moving along a rectilinear path. We're going to draw our free body diagram and the kinetic diagram. So showing this, 
we have 100 newtons and remember we have that given triangle three four and five and then we have 981 newtons okay we have n sub b and n sub a all right and then on this side we'll have m a sub g sub x so we have the free body diagram and the kinetic diagram all right so next what we'll do is apply the equation of motion in the x direction first in the x direction all right so we have the summation the forces f sub x equals m a g sub x all right and for us that gives us 100 4 over 5 equals 100 a sub g and then we'll get a sub g which is equal to 0 0.8 meters per second squared all right after this we go ahead and apply the equation of motion in the y direction and then sum the moments about g so equations of motion in the y direction so sum of f sub y zero which yields to n sub a plus n sub b minus 981 and then that's minus 100 times 3 over 5 by using that triangle and it's equal to zero all right and then going further with this we go ahead and do the math n a plus n b is equal to 1041 newtons all right and then next we're going to go ahead and take sum m sub g is equal to zero all right so for this it yields n a times 0 0.6 minus nb times 0 0.4 plus 100 times the 3 over 5 times 0 0.7 minus 100 times the 4 over 5 1.2 minus 0 0.5 all equaling to 0 all right, working through it, we'll get 0 0.6 n sub a minus 0 0.4 n sub b equaling the right-hand side will be doing everything 14. All right, so we have one and two, two equations there. So using equations one and two, solve for the reactions right so using equations one and two solve for the reactions n sub a and n sub b all right so n sub a is equal to 430 newtons and n sub b so you can work through these and come up with the same answers 611 Newtons. Our third example looks at rigid body and rotational motion. All right, so the example says that given the uniform slender rod has a mass of 15 kilograms and its mass center is at point G, um, the reaction at pin O and the angular acceleration of the rod just after the cord is cut this is what we're trying to find all right so in planning this out since the mass center G moves in a circle 
of radius 0.15 meters. Its acceleration has a normal component toward O and a tangential component acting downward perpendicular to R sub G. So we're going to apply the problem solving procedure for this. So we have the free body diagram and then we have the kinetic diagram. All right, so now let's go ahead and look at the equations of motion. So let's go ahead and start looking at those. So we have the sum F sub N equals MA sub N equals M R sub G omega squared. All right, so then yields O sub N equals zero newtons. All right, the next we have sum F sub T equals M A sub T and that's equal to M R sub G alpha. Okay, for us it yields negative O sub T plus 15 times 9.81 And that's going to equal 15 times 0.15 alpha. Okay. And then we have next sum M sub O equals I sub G alpha plus m r sub g alpha r sub g all right so for us this yields 0.15 times 15 9.81 and then that's equal to I G alpha plus M R G squared alpha. All right, so next using, we're gonna use I sub G equals M L squared over Twelve, and then we're going to use R G equals zero point one five. Okay, so using these, we can we can then write. Now we can write I G alpha plus M. R G squared alpha is equal to all right so now we have the quantity this 15 times 0 0.9 squared divided by 12 and we add that to let's see the 15 0 times 0 0.15 squared alpha equals 1.35 alpha. All right, so now we take these and then after after um, substituting, after substituting, we'll have 22.07 equals 1.35 alpha. Okay, so then alpha is 16.4 and 
and then from equation let's see from the equation we'll call it equation one so equation one was up here we'll call that equation one okay so from equation one we have negative O sub T plus 15 9.81 and that's going to equal to 15 times 0 0.15 alpha all right and then that brings us O sub T equals 15 times 9.81 minus 15 times 0 0.15 times 16.4 and then that gets us 110 newtons.